Wow, an airplane. There it goes. Anyway, I am stuck on a zero turn right now. This place might look familiar from when I did when I filmed the statewide uh, siren test. The siren's over there. But I just finished milling that house right back over there. And I thought it would be quicker to cut through this field. Um, and then come up through here and go to my house, which is located up that way. So I did that. And I pulled through here. I was about to turn here, but I lost traction on that wheel. And the wheel wouldn't continue turning that way. And somehow I managed to get stuck here. And then... I'm all the way in here, so I tried moving the mower, like, little by little, like, hoping to get it unstuck, but it's just made itself more stuck. I got it a bit unstuck, but, um, it's to the point where I just can't get it out at all. Here's some of the ridges that it's in. That's the back end there. You can see the, like, transmissions are, like, caked in mud. It's not getting unstuck anytime soon i don't think more of these ruts front wheels up in the air there's what's going on over here this is all muddy because i had to keep stepping in and out of it that deck's like beached you got stuff all the way over there that's all caked in and this mower gets stuck easily um like really easily um I don't think I've ever had issues with any sort of machine I've had in the past getting stuck this easily, but this thing likes to get stuck, um, and I don't like that. So it's going to be a lot of fun to get this out of here. Um, I reached out to two of my friends. One of them is leaving to go see the Northern Lights, um, and then my other friend, who actually has a garden tractor, he's out of town right now, and he can't come here for like another hour or so um, to pull me out or whatever. And I don't know anyone that's going to be here in town that's willing to help me lift this thing up and possibly pull it out of here. And not to mention, probably take at least three people to get this thing out because this thing's really heavy. Because remember, it is a zero turn. Um, so that that's an issue. And this was kind of one of the re one of the things I didn't like about like I was kind of afraid of getting a zero turn is because I knew this would be an issue. I'm also getting all bitten up by mascots right now. I have my trailer here with my utility mower, my weed eater, and then my four thousand dollar zero turn. And I don't want any of this stuff to get stolen because I paid a lot of money for this. Um, I have no one here to watch it. There is people in this house behind me, but. I just feel kind of weird going over there and talking to them. Um, this is a entrance to this park. This is a park. So I'm not trespassing on private property or anything. For all I know, this could be private property. I, I, I don't know. But, yeah, we got ourselves a real predicament. And the only way I can see about doing this is uh, myself is with a garden tractor. I have a lawn tractor, but I don't know if it'll be strong enough to pull this out. And I don't want to leave this here unattended. But what I'd do is I'd get a chain hook it here to the front, pull it out as hard as I can, and then possibly pull on the back here and yank that half out too. I'm not sure. Maybe once I, if I pull it around straight here, maybe I'll be able to get on it, turn it on, and roll it out. But I can't. I, I, at least I don't think I can. And the issue with these tires is the tread on these, it's very, it's very close to each other. And because of that, um, like dirt and mud and stuff gets packed in there and it loses traction. So this, this tire design here, I don't like it. It doesn't really do very well. And these are very thin wheels to, because this is a 34 inch model and this is just to kind of oblige for the deck to get the deck to fit. And this kind of goes on to something I don't like about this mower is why 34? Like 34 is nice and small, but you, they could have easily gone with a, um, like a 48 I think a 48 would have been a perfect size. I, I mean, a 38. A 38 would have been a perfect size, and that would have been good enough for me for some of the yards I do. Because um, if this was a 38, they could have put the bigger wheels on it still, I think, anyway. I don't know. Um, ask someone from Toro about that. Maybe they'd, they'd know. Um, but, yeah. But I don't like how they had to go all the way from uh, 34 up to 42. Um... I think they should have had another size in between there, but I don't know. And there, are, there is a place for this mower, I think, because this is good for small yards. 
like small gates and stuff. And I don't know how much difference like another four inches would add to the deck. Um, now I'm just here rambling about this, but I'm going to try to lift this out a bit more because I kind of regained some of my energy, pick it up, drag it over here, and maybe I'll be able to start it up and pull it out. I doubt it, but yeah. Now if this was my Cub Cadet Zero Turn that I had before, that one is way really light because it didn't have a deck on it. So we'll see how this goes. I see a faint silhouette of my head and the Thunderbolt Siren. But I am walking over to my friend's house. I'm going to go steal his garden tractor. I talked to him and he said, wait till he gets home. But I don't feel like waiting. It's starting to get cold out. I'm getting bitten up by mascots. So I'm um, going to do that. Now, got a hold of two of the neighbors over there. I went up to the one, the one person's house. The one that's like right in the alley. And I rang the doorbell and no one came to the door. So I walked across the street because I know the guy that lives across the street. Talked to him and we got to talking. It's like... Oh, they walked out, so I walked over there, and then uh, we had a, uh, we were just talking for a while about stuff, but I'm going to get the attempt to wait over at my friend's house for him, or try to get the mower started, if not, get a battery charger, I don't have one right now, um, if it's in the shed or something, I'm not sure, um, Get a moon. Ooh, need some moon. Um, see how that's going right now and stuff. Um, I don't know what that place was. It's really quiet around here at night, which is pretty nice. I'm gonna duck down because that light's so bright. But that's some. That's what the light should look like. They should be orange, so they don't hurt your eyes while you're trying to drive or walk at night. So, I guess we'll pick up when I get over to his house. Um, or something. It's now 10, um, 10.02 p.m. And my friend is arriving right now with his garden tractor. And the neighbor's motion light came off. Okay, it's on now. But there it is, it's coming.
here's where I got stuck. turn back here, get the one thing loaded up, and we should be ready to go. Uh, and the garage is kind of cramped so you can't really see it very well but uh, here's the mower uh, um, after it being unstuck um, there is um, a few things I noted it seems to be driving fine um, the one issue is these handles have gotten out of adjustment um, so this one's kind of uh, a bit forward compared to this one and I can't have that so I have to fix it and that's easily adjustable by just loosening this bolt and then moving it back and it looks like it's actually slided forward or something I don't know um, this one I think actually is the one that slided a bit more forward and that's just how you adjust the handles to kind of keep them in line or whatever so I'm still dealing with all these allergies in terms of the machine itself it's caked with dirt and stuff and leaves um, the Cub Cadet got it out no problem so that's fine, but you can see a bunch of dirt and stuff from the on the front and in you know, the deck, and it's all grassy there. But that's from mowing. But jeez, it's uh, yeah. I'm gonna drop the deck soon because I'm gonna actually be sharpening. The... I'm gonna be de dropping the deck soon, so I can actually like sharpen the blades and grease the spindles and stuff. Um, back wheels, like I said. The the, tr the tread on these, there's like not much of anything, so what I really need is a pressure washer, I'll clean this thing right up, so there's that, engine's nice and hot it's all guaranteed it's all dirty up in here too and not that bad, I'd expect it to fling every like dirt and stuff everywhere, this one I'm not sure if it like, I don't think it spins fast enough to do this, but I know in the past um with a lot of other equipment I had, if it gets stuck, it will fling dirt all the way up all over the fenders and stuff and get everything all dirty. So, uh, yeah, I'll say it's a bit, a bit dirty here, and yeah, it's it's not as bad as the as anything else I've seen. So, yeah, I think we're fine. But I'll say that's fine for right now. Um, that's all I'm going to show. I I think. So, I'm going to get it cleaned up tomorrow, hopefully, um, and I'm going to do a lot more mowing. I don't know if I have any yards to mow tomorrow, but coming up around Tuesday, um, I'll have another three, I believe, to do. So, maybe I'll have another one to do tomorrow. It's going to be pretty wet, so I'll probably just be using the push mower. Um, probably the super recycler right there. 
but I'm gonna adjust this handle actually I might as well show that quickly I don't have my socket set over here but I do have a toolbox over there of sockets and a ratchet and um, like an adjustable wrench so we'll get that taken care of used a 15 millimeter socket and that got it pretty good um, let's see how it is with both of these forward that seems to be fine I'll have to do a drive test with it I don't feel like taking it out of the garage again tonight or I would so that's the rest of this I'm gonna eat dinner um, and then go to sleep because I'm really tired so thank you very much for watching and keep the breeze